Uh. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Welcome, welcome. Um, you can all the background; it's a bit messy, but I figured I need to give you guys an update as to what's going on. Um, I haven't been uploading much in a while because of my health. In my last coffee time, I explained to you about my uh, seizures. Well, they've got me on a few medication. Well, they've got me on a medication that I have to build myself up to. So the first one's like two milligram, and three milligram, and four milligram, and it gets to the specific dose that they want me at. And um, it's barely. Start I, I am noticing the side effects first, more so than anything else. And one of them is forgetfulness. So I do apologize about that, but is what it is. And um, yeah, I've been very, very busy doing my schooling and a whole bunch of other stuff, work as well. Um, now this video I'm about to 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 record isn't aimed at anyone in particular. It's not aimed at any one particular content creator or anything. If it applies to you. I'm sorry. Uh, hashtag sorry, not sorry, if it applies to you. And that being professional professional versus amateur. Now, one second, I've got something wrong with my eyeball. One second. Oh, better. I don't know why, but for some reason, after I've had a shower, my eyes tend to get, you know. Um, amateur versus professional, and in this context, I'm talking about the adult movie industry. Uh, full disclosure, I was a semi-professional adult film star. I did several scenes in both Europe and America. Uh, mostly fetish stuff, so BDSM, kink, things of that sort of nature. And um, I still get hit up by uh, I still get hit up by uh, uh, agents and agencies uh, all the time. Even though I've not done it professionally in quite some time however this is because I chose not to uh, at the time there were some things going on in my life that pulled me away uh, did I ever consider it a full-time job absolutely not is it could it ever be a full-time job absolutely not now why your physical body can only do so much. I.e. You can only do so many things so many times before your body just gives out. Look at professional bodybuilders. Okay. They get anywhere between 10, 15 years max at Mr. Olympia. Now Ronnie Cole... Yes, I know bodybuilders. Ronnie Cole, I know a few bodybuilders. Not personally, but I, I watched the you know world bodybuilding and whatnot. Ronnie Cole, um, amazing man, what has won it so many times. Um, he's probably the exception to the rule, but even then, even Ronnie has turned around and said he's had multiple surgeries, uh, 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 multiple enhancements, like uh, he's had his hip worked on, he's had his knees worked on, he's had bicep tears, he's had, s again, my point is your physical body can only handle so much before it just collapses. So all you younger women and younger men who are on a specific website that I can't say the full name, i.e. only pans, and do corn, this is ridiculous, come on YouTube, we're not fucking children. I can say fuck, but I can't say... I don't care about monetization of this video, so fuck it, I'm just going to say it anyway. Um, so, the OnlyFans models. And no, I am not 
aiming this towards anyone in particular. Again, this isn't aimed at, at, at Model A, Model B, uh, uh, whatnot. But you, now, and I cannot stress this, there is a reason why the dropout rate of OnlyFans is quite high. Okay, you may think, oh, well, I'm an exception to that rule. No, you are not. Okay, you are not going to make millions. You're not. And to those who have made money and spunked it, buying houses and cars and everything else to pretend to be rich, again, that's what you're doing. You are pretending to be rich. You are not rich. You do not have wealth. You have an influx of cash, a momentary influx of cash, okay? And then the tax man's going to come along and say, where's my share? And do you think only fans is going to send a tax lawyer to, to help you? No. They're going to say, you're on your own. You're an independent contractor. Read your fucking contract. You're an independent contractor, which means if you get an STD through doing your content hosted on their website, that's on you. If you go bankrupt because you don't know how to manage money, that's on you, not OnlyFans. Now, here's another stickler. You do realize that once you've posted content to OnlyFans, they own it. Not you. They own it. You may think you own it, but read your contract. They own it. They own it in perpetuity, which means forever. So even when you're dead and buried, and your career is over, they can go to an AI program and make AI content with your name, your face, your voice, your everything, and you won't get paid. Your estate won't get paid. Nothing will get paid. They keep the money because they own your likeness in perpetuity. George Lucas did it with Carrie Fisher, with, with Mark Hamill, with Harrison Ford, with the Star Wars characters. It's no joke. Look it up. It's in your contract, you morons. Why do you think true professional adult entertainers aren't on OnlyFans? Because the first thing they did is they get a business management degree, you know, go to a community college at night, I have one, and you read the contract, you read the fine print, you go through it, you have your lawyer go through it, then you haggle and negotiate and you get certain clauses out of that contract. And if they say no, guess what? Contract don't get signed. They still stay independent. They still stay with their own, their own, their own, agencies and they'll still make more money than you and this is another thing i'm going to call this out for you feminists here you want equality okay here's some equality for you why doesn't a male model not just in not not just in the adult entertainment industry how comes a male runway model doesn't get paid anywhere near close to what a woman does where's the equality there hmm hmm what about male entertainers? Male, and male adult entertainers only get paid 40, not even that, not even 50% of what women get paid. When I used to do it, I watched women get paid two fucking grand cash in their hand. You wanna know what I got paid? 300 pounds. Make that, make that make sense to me then, feminists, come on. Make that make sense. I got paid three, she gets paid two. And I had to do three scenes. So I got paid £100 a scene. She did one. Now I'm not going to call that person out. But there are there, there there are people out there that just don't get paid their worth, so they go independent. James Dean is one of them. I've met James probably 
two times, three times. Once was at the Adult Film Awards, and and then and then another one was in passing uh, in California. Uh, we was at I was at the beach, and he was there, and I was like, "You're James Dean." He's like, "Yeah, I am." So I just like, "Can I shake your hand, mate?" He's like, "Yeah, sure." So I shook his hand. Cool dude. I was like, "I've met you somewhere." Yeah, we was at the Adult Film Awards. He was like, "Oh yeah, 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 yeah." We caught up for a little bit. Good guy. Good guy. Industry tried fucking him. Quite literally. Saying he was a a, 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 a mass essayer and all this other stuff. When he wasn't. There's no evidence of that. None. His agency dropped him. All because two female workers who's on his no list. And that's, an, that's something you, you OnlyFans people don't seem to understand or get the concept of. Because they were on his no list... They tried to they tried to ruin him. Why? Because you stick a makeup sponge in your snatch when you're on your period, and forget to take it out, and it smells like cottage cheese. Yeah, I know exactly who you are, you dirty bitch. And that's my whole point. That is exactly my whole fucking point. Oh, we're fans. You don't get it, do you? There's no screenings. There's no security. There's no nothing. Okay? If you try... If you're in America or, or England even, anywhere that has a private healthcare system, and yes, England does have a private healthcare system. It's called Boopa. I have it. Well, my family has it, and I'm on their plan. But if you turn around and say to them that you are in the adult entertainment industry, your premium plan triples. Why is that? Because of STDs and various other conditions that you can suffer from. Because of it. Now, there are a lot of girls, and that's all they are. They're young girls. Yes, you're 19, 20, 21, 22. Legally, you're, you're an adult. Okay, legally, you are an adult and you can legally do whatever you want. But there is a huge problem. And that huge problem is you don't know how to take care of yourself. You don't even know how to read your contract properly and you signed it. I've had so many people contact me through Twitter that I now ha don't have anymore. I had to close my Twitter. It's gone. You can't find me. I'm no longer on Kinkcast Podcast. It's gone. And I'm no longer on, on Deceptive Cobras. It's gone too. They're both gone. They're both gone. And I don't care. I don't want to be on Twitter anymore. It's a cesspool. I don't, I don't even want to be on Facebook. It's a cesspool. I don't, social medias are not social anymore. They're antisocial. So... Take that as you will. You can leave a comment in the comment section down below. Now, I can choose whether or not to answer it or not because that's my progress. It's up to me. I don't have to answer your questions or your comments. It's up to me. So, to all you OnlyFans out there who are think you think you're being called out, guess what? You are. You are. You are. You think you're, you're, you're good driving a Lambo showing it off and you live in the middle of fucking like Yorkshire or Somerset or wherever well you're never going to drive that Lambo at it's full fucking potential because your country road lanes are like 35 miles an hour you dumb twat you think you're all fucking oh look I'm just going to roll up to Tesco's in my Lambo that's what I think of you every time I see a fucking supercar like a Lambo, or a fucking Rolls Royce, or, 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 or a fucking whatever it is. Oh yeah, I paid 400000 for my Ferrari. <laughs> okay, where are you driving it? What? Where are you driving it? I don't drive it. So, you put four hundred grand in a car that just sits on a trailer and just depreciates. As where I spent twenty grand on that Ford Sierra... Had it restored. 
a little bit of hop up in there, turbo, all wheel drive, and that thing is minging, mate. I will throw that around Brands Hatch doing 120, 140, 150 it with a fucking shit eating grin on my face while you're sitting there going, <laughs> staring at your fucking lawn ornament because it's just fucking stupid. Fuck off, you mong. Sorry, but you are. Cars are meant to be driven. I don't care. I don't care what your favorite car is. Buy the most clapped out version of that car you can find. And just drive it. And enjoy it. Now don't get me wrong. Yeah, you, you, you got things like Damaso Panteras. That are, are going up in price. Why? Because... I don't fucking know. They're just a piece of shit fucking car. They're a Ford 302, 350 based Ford with a transaxle in it. On, they're basically a, a, a shittier, lesser version of a GT40. If you want to go that route, just buy a GT40. Or, or, or God forbid, buy a Pontiac fucking Fiaro and kid it out to make it look like whatever you want why because it's a fucking Pontiac Fiaro no one gives a shit about them you can go to a junkyard and buy five of the fuckers and say that's a Lambo that's a Ferrari that's a GT40 that's this that's and then just drive them like they are what they are but no that's called depreciating assets and women and people who do OnlyFans your coochie your cock is a depreciating asset. Every time you use it, it depreciates. Your body count. And this goes towards that stupid British chick with the blonde hair who I fucking destroyed in one of my reaction videos who says she, she did 200 bodies on a, on a fucking cruise ship. You are a vile fucking cunt. You are. You are a vile fucking cunt. Vile. Vile. You are gross. You think because there's a camera in your face that doesn't that doesn't make you the village bicycle. Yes, you are still a tramp. Yes, you are still a fucking slut. Yes, you are still a fucking whore. The fact that you've got a camera in your face and someone pays two ninety nine, really? Two ninety nine? Your self worth is only worth two fucking ninety nine. Fuck off. No wonder why your parents are fucking embarrassed of you. No wonder why your fucking... Your whole family don't want to fucking talk to you, you nasty skank. There isn't a single... There is not a single fucking first world country that you can't go to where you're not known and known to not be touched because you've probably got gone a sip of herpes. You're probably going to be the, the 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 focal point of the next mass fucking outbreak. Who need who who need who needs COVID nineteen when we've got Cuntzilla twenty two or something whatever it fuck it is. You, you just, no, ew. Oh, I've got two hundred bucks, and you're wearing that like it's some sort of pride, bitch. That's a lot of that's a lot of vaginal miles, man. Do you understand that? That is a lot of vag miles. On a very unique one-off model that really ain't worth shit. Sorry, but your 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 box must look like someone tossed a hand grenade in a deli counter. I'm serious. You are definitely on my fucking permanent no list. And I'm not even joking. You are on my permanent ew, fuck no, ew, 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 fucking ew, no list. I wouldn't even want you on set as a fluffer. I would sooner rather go to the toothless hag on the fucking corner and get a gummy job from her than have you ever touch my body or anyone else's body for that matter. Fucking disgusting. And here's a prime example of, of, oh, 
you know, it, it's it's not that bad, surely. Really? There was a really fucking overbite, ugly British guy with really bad bleached teeth on the whatever podcast. And him and his girlfriend, who did OnlyFans, she did OnlyFans, he filmed it. Cuck! He filmed it while she was getting dicked down by some dude with a fucking fire hose cock, you know? And he's got this big old shitty eating grin on his face. You can see in his eyes he's dead. He's got like, why the fuck am I here? Why the fuck am I here? It's like, why the fuck am I here? Why the fuck am I here? Literally. Do you want to know what he does now? Works in a Tesco's warehouse. You know what he did beforehand? Walked around London, London, I, I think it was London. It was some other, it was some shitty city, probably Birmingham. Turn around saying, how much bands you got in your old bank account, mate? How much bands you got in your bank account, mate? Bitch, you're working at Tesco's. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. And where's your missus? Exactly. Where's your missus? She's stretched out so bad, she might as well be a fucking fleshlight for a giant. She's done. No fucking morals. That's what you've got. You've got no fucking morals. None. No morals. No self-respect. No dignity. You sold all of that for what? Two ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Use my creator code and get ten percent. Da 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 da. That's the pyramid scheme. That's another thing I want to get you on, get on about. Sites like OnlyFans, and there are there are other sites that are popping up now that, that, that claim you can be an independent artist. Da, 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 da. They're doing this. Oh, get 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 X amount of people to join, yeah, paid members, and you will get a kickback. At what point do you not understand that that is part of a pyramid scheme? The only person who's getting paid is the person at the top, not the person at the bottom. And you will always be the person at the bottom. I don't care if you are Cameron Diaz or, or fucking Salma Hayek. You can be whoever you want. Insert really hot woman here. You could be whoever they are right there. And you think, oh, I'm at the top. I'm at the top. Look up, bitch. Look up. You're not at the top. You will never be at the top. You will never, ever, ever be at the top. You're not at the top. You're not on top of the pops. You'll never be there. You'll never be there. You will always be mid. Mid. I don't give a fuck how much money you think you can bring in. You'll still always be mid. Mid. Get used to that word. Because that's what you are. Minimum. When you think you're top and you're at your best, you're mid. Everyone is at the bottom. You're all fucking plankton. You're all fucking low-hanging fruit off the tree. There's barely, there's barely, it's overripe. You're starting to rot. No one wants you. So you fall off the tree and you just lay on the ground and you just rot. And that's the people that drop off of OnlyFans who have no people looking at their content. Because if you think you're brave enough to take a picture of your piss lip or your fucking banana and you put it on that fucking website and no one buys it, what the fuck do you think that does to your fucking ego? When no one is interested in it. No one. No one wants to collab. No one wants to do anything. No one even wants to touch you. And you think that you are something? <laughs> you are fucking delusional. Fucking delusional you are delulu you are the queen or king of delulu you would have more success joining an agency getting headshots done getting a film reel done and having them shop you around and if you are going to go the agency route make sure that, that agency gets a minimum guarantee of x amount of pictures for you i.e they will say we can get you into a minimum of three videos so you've got three videos you've got three shots three strikes to impress the next person who's looking for 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 male performers female performers 
you've got three, three, you've got three shots to get it right. So you go correct. You say please, you say thank you, you say sir, you say madam, you go correct. When I did my first, I think it was the first five or six scenes, I showed up early, offered to help set up stuff. I showered before I left, showered when I got there, stayed clean, stayed stayed healthy, stayed, you know, drink plenty of water, stay hydrated, especially if you're a male performer, you stay hydrated. And helped out wherever I could, whenever I could. When the, the other talent shows up, you sit down for about 45 minutes. You talk to them, you explain to them, okay, okay, what do you like? What don't you like? Things of that nature. Even though, you, even though the agency has already sent you that in a packet. And be fucking smart and read the goddamn packet. They don't just hand it to you for fucking, for fun. Read the motherfucker. And then even though there are certain things that won't be listed in that packet, talk to them. Say, okay, um, I'm a bit confused about this. Oh, okay, thank you for clearing that up for me. Da, da, da. Uh, yeah, I, I just don't like this or I just don't like that. And then lo and behold, fucking smooth as silk. You've impressed them, you've impressed everyone, you've impressed yourself because you can actually hold yourself to a higher accountability. Then you go get tested immediately go get tested get a blood test done an std blood test they're pretty fucking quick you can usually get a, you can usually get your, res, your your results in about two to three hours get tested come back oh your white platelets up a little bit you might have a little infection that's common okay most people are like, what do you mean that's common you have been vigorously putting a organ into another organ with might and vigor, I might add. You better at least have. It's called tearing. If you're a woman, you're going to get vaginal tearing. If you're a man, you're going to get penal tearing. It happens. You may not see it externally, but it happens internally. Do you understand that? Which, why do you think after you've did the business, sometimes when you pee, it burns a little. You have a penal tear. You just don't realize it. That's why your platelets are up. Because it's realized, oh shit, we've got a bleed. We have to send platelets to, you know, to stop the, the bleeding. Come on, you should have learned this in fucking school. But always get tested. And if something comes back, you have to inform your agency. You have to inform. They, in turn, will then inform the, the, the other uh, performer. If not, you can inform that performer personally. You can say, look, listen, um, something's come up on my last screen. It's this. You might want to get tested. Or... or now, and again, it also depends on the agency. There were some agencies that didn't care about testing. They got sued into oblivion during the, H, during the AIDS epidemic. Okay, thank fucking for that, knock on wood. The agency I was with demanded that you come back with a full screen or you don't work. Period. Which is why they always scheduled a blood screening after you go to their, to, to their doctor. They do it, whatnot. Go to your own doctor for your own personal records as well. They get the results directly from that doctor. You get your results directly from your doctor so you can, you know, what you've got. You, it just, it's just peace of mind. It's just peace of mind. Okay? Think about it, okay? Again, I'm going to go back to, to using a car for an example so guys will understand what I'm talking about. When you get work done on your car, do you not keep the receipts to prove that the work's been done? You keep it in a little folder so that when you go to sell the car on, it's like, oh yeah, I had the clutch replaced at this thousand X amount of miles, I had the brakes replaced at X thousand miles, I had this done, I had that done, I had this done, I had that done, because it shows that you have been heavily invested into that vehicle. Well, you've got to do the same thing with your own body. You've got to be heavily invested in it, especially if you're in the adult entertainment industry. But that's something that only fans won't tell you. That's something a ton of places won't tell you. So I'm telling you, as an ex adult entertainer, professional cum salesman, as some people have called me. It's 
So this video is aimed at people who do OnlyFans. So listen to it and listen well. I'm not saying what you're doing is wrong. It's your body. Okay, it's your body, it's your choice. Uh, full, full, full understanding. It's your body, it's your choice. Do whatever the hell you want to do. But understand this. Actions have consequences. Cause and effect. Actions have motherfucking consequences. Please understand that. Your actions have consequences. And that's the fucking truth. Actions have consequences. Cause and effect. Fuck around and find out. Whatever you want to call it. And if you think your kids aren't going to get bullied because their bullies can look at your piss lips and whatnot for two ninety nine, you're fucking deluded. You're fucking deluded. <clears throat> Coffee's done. Video's done. See you in the next one, guys.